Hello, I've made a den. I wonder if you like making dens. You could pause this video and go and make your own den now if you'd like, and then you could watch it in the comfort of your own den. Well, my den is a little bit like a cave, and in today's Bible story, there is a cave, so I thought I'd do it from the den. We're going to read it straight from the Bible today. So go and get your Bibles and see if you can turn to John chapter 11 and verse 19. Many Jews had come to Martha and Mary. They had come to comfort them because their brother was dead. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, I wish you had been here, then my brother would have not died. But I know that even now, God will give you anything you ask for. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he'll rise again. This will happen when people are raised from the dead on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even if they die. I'm going to say that again. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even if they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God. I believe that you are the one who is supposed to come into the world. After she said this, she went back home. She called her sister Mary to one side to talk to her. The teacher is here, Martha said. He is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Jesus had not yet entered the village. He was still at the place where Martha had met him. Some Jews had been comforting Mary in the house. They noticed how quickly she got up and went out, so they followed her. They thought she was going to the tomb to mourn there. Mary reached the place where Jesus was. When she saw him, she fell at his feet. She said, Lord, I wish you had been here. Then my brother would not have died. Jesus saw her crying. He saw the Jews who had come along with her were crying also. His spirit became very sad and he was troubled. Where have you put him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how much he loved him. But some of them said, he opened the eyes of the blind man. Couldn't he have kept this man from dying? Once more, Jesus felt very sad. He came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone in front of the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man. By this time, there was a bad smell. Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days. Then Jesus said, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see God's glory? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up. He said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here. I said it so that they will believe that you sent me. Then Jesus called out in a loud voice. He said, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out. His hands and his feet were wrapped with strips of linen. A cloth was around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the clothes he was buried in and let him go. I'm out of my cave now. I've got a game for you again this week. All you need is a toilet roll and possibly a basket. I'll explain that later. It must have been very strange to see Lazarus coming out of his cave where he'd been buried, alive but covered in linen strips, including over his face. In this game, we're using the toilet roll to see how much of a person in your household you can cover in two minutes. So you'll need a timer as well. We had a go earlier, I think I won against Dom, but can you beat us?
you're worried about the wastefulness of the game, never fear, that's what the basket's for. We cleared everything up into the basket and we'll be using it again. Also, you might find that you need a timer with a buzzer. I don't know if you noticed, but our time ran out and we didn't notice because my two-year-old who was supposed to be selling us the sand was finished, forgot. However, I'm sure you have a phone or something you can use. Isn't it awesome that God raised Lazarus from the dead? Eventually, he would have died again. He isn't alive today, is he? But Jesus did this so that we believe God sent him. God, the creator of the universe, the trees, the plants, the seas, the animals, and me, and you, wants us to believe in Jesus so that we can have eternal life. When Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life, he wasn't promising that we would live on this earth forever. Our bodies would wear out. He was promising eternal life with our creator God. Jesus died to take the punishment that we deserve for the wrong things that we do, so that we have the chance to be with God forever. How amazing is that? Hidden in this story is the shortest verse in the Bible. I love it. It's only two words. Jesus wept. Even though Jesus knew he could and would raise his friend from the dead, he was deeply saddened with grief, uh, by the grief of the people around him and by his own grief. That's how deeply he feels about you and how much he longs for you to know him as your saviour and why he gave his own life to save you and me. So see if you can remember that verse this week. John chapter 11, verse 35, Jesus wept. Run!